In this tutorial, I'll explain my mouse click sounds program. It's open source, so you're able to download it. So go to the internet, either whatever Internet Explorer you use. Go to my site, at, which is vb6beginners.com. Click the tutorials on the navigation bar, and click download mouse click sounds, or click the link, and then click download source. Then download it. However, whatever internet browser you have will be different. Um, I'll open it up. And I'll go ahead and explain exactly what goes on here. Some of this I didn't make, as in the moving it to the system tray. I did not make that. I just got it from the internet and changed a few things around with it. So I did not make that, but basically show you the overview of what this program does. So what this program does is it allows you to click, choose one of these sounds for left click. So I'll go ahead and choose sound one, and for right click, let's choose sound six. So now click, and as you you'll hear a sound every time you click. But if you have a slower computer, it might lag a little, and this program probably wouldn't be too good. So now right click, and as you hear, you hear click sound, click sound six. Uh, in case you want to test the sounds, and as you get a message box, you may want to remove the text in the comma box and left click so the sounds don't mix together. So you'd remove the text, or you could just click this button. I can see that the sounds now move, or the text is now gone, so there won't be any sound when you left click. So click test sounds. And I can see it'll go through the sounds, so just go through them. There's all the different ones. Um, go ahead and click information. As you can see, it explains what this tutorial does, or what this uh, source does, or program better. Um, click the options tab. As you can see, there is a there is a done with options, which is we just scroll it back up, or you could just go back to the options. Um, minimize the system tray. I'll minimize it. You can remove it from the system tray, so it's not down there anymore. Because it'll still stay down there, even when you bring it back up, it'll still be loaded down there. Um, you could save the settings that you have there. Now, what save setting does is it it creates a text, or it creates a file on your C drive that will grab it every time it loads the program. So, you can save the settings. Then you could delete the saving settings. You can load the you can load this program on the computer startup, and you can also remove it. Um, I'll just go through the source now, as you can see it, but you'll probably have it in front of you. <laughs> it's uh, heavily commented, so you should be able to notice everything. But, as you can see here, this is playing the sounds. This is one of the first long, actually, programs I've ever written, so it might be a little sloppy, and I'm sure it is, because it was one of the first I ever wrote, one of the longer ones, or anything. So... I'm sure there's some better ways to write this, but it's still good, and you can learn different things from this. Um, this form, add tray form, what this does is when they first lower the when they first lower the icon, or they when they first lower the thing, the program to the system tray, they may not know how to bring it back up. So we're going to display this message as a form saying double click the icon in the system tray to bring back up. Don't tell me again. If you click don't tell me again, it'll change this to one, which they won't save. Then they'll save it on their C drive. So every time this every time you click load to system or every time you click um move or add to system tray, it won't display this if you have this clicked. Then you click OK and it'll go down. So model one, just stuff to minimize the system tray. And that pretty much concludes this brief tutorial, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Please visit my site at www.vb6beginners.com for more tutorials. Also check out my other tutorials on YouTube.